Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Ali Khan. Last video, I have explained you the complete formula on material variances and labor variances. So totally five material variances formula I have explained. MPV, oh sorry, MCV, MPV, MUV, MMV and MYV. Next, labor variance. Six labor variances I have explained. Labor cost variance, labor rate variance, labor efficiency variance, labor mix variance, labor yield variance and labor idle time variance. The problems are completely based on those formulae. So until and unless you are perfect on the formulae, you cannot go for the problems. So I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject accounting for management, select the videos of standard costing the formulas for material and labor variances. Be perfect with the formula, then only you should come. So before starting the next problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So I am going to start the 17th problem. So before that, take the screenshot of the points which I have written. Now, 17th one, from the given data, calculate material price variance, MPV, uh, material usage variance, MUV, and material cost variance, MCV. So, MCV, MPV, MUV, these three variances we have to calculate. Standard, 250 kilogram of material is required for producing 175 kilogram of finished goods. So, standard is given 250 kilogram. This standard is for making 175 kilogram of finished goods and the standard price of material 4 rupees per kilogram. Actual, actual production was 50 to 500 kilogram and material consumed actually 70,000 kilogram and cost of material 2,73,000 rupees. See, for calculating material variances, we require four items. Standard quantity, actual quantity, standard price, actual price. Once if we get these four items, easily we can substitute and calculate very easily MCV, MPV, MUV. But the problem is <clears throat> directly it is not given. These four items are not given directly. So we have to find out those four items. See, standard price is directly given in the problem 4 rupees per kilogram. Standard price is 4 rupees per kilogram, no calculation, nothing. Actual price is not given. Whereas actual cost of material 2,73,000 rupees. Whereas material consumed is 70,000 kilogram. That means for 70,000 kilogram of material, the cost of material is 2,73,000 rupees. Total cost is given, but we need per kilogram. We need cost per kilogram. So actual price is equal to 2,73,000 rupees divided by 70,000 kilogram. So 2,73,000 divided by 70,000 kilogram you are getting 3.9. Rupee 3.9 per kilogram. So standard price 4 rupees given. Actual price 3.9 not given in the problem we have calculated. The total cost divided by quantity purchased we got. Now actual quantity of metal consumed is 70,000 given. 70,000 kilogram actual quantity consumed whereas standard quantity is not given directly. Indirectly it is given. For making 175 kilogram of production standard quantity of metal is 250 kilogram. So here standard quantity. For 175 kilogram of finished goods it is given in the problem standard quantity 250 kilogram. For making 175, we require 250 kilogram of material. But what is the actual production? Actual production is 5,200. For making 5,200, how much material we require? So for 175, standard quantity 250. For 5,200 finished goods, how much is the standard quantity? So 5,200 divided by 175 into 250, you will get 75,000 kilogram. This is not given in the problem. 
तो स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी एस क्यू नो ऑल द फोर आइटम्स वी गॉट एस क्यू एस पी ए क्यू ए पी सिंपली वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी वी गॉट सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड Actual quantity is given in the problem seventy thousand kilogram. Standard price is given in the problem four rupees. Actual price we have calculated three point nine. Now we substitute. Material cost variance. The formula is SC minus AC. Standard cost minus actual cost. Standard quantity into standard price. You will get standard cost. Actual quantity into actual price. You will get actual cost. So here standard quantity seventy five thousand into four. And seventy thousand into three point nine, so seventy five thousand into four three lakh seventy thousand into three point nine two point seven three two lakh seventy three thousand. So three lakh minus two lakh seventy three thousand. You are getting twenty seven thousand. If positive value you get, write down favorable. If negative comes, adverse. So in bracket you have to write down either F or A. F means favorable. A means adverse. So here positive. Three lakh minus two lakh seventy three thousand positive favor. MCV we got. Now MPV material price variance. The formula is actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. Actual quantity how much seventy thousand. Standard price four rupees. Actual price three point nine. So four minus three point nine you get point one. So point one into seventy thousand seven thousand favor. In bracket you are getting positive value. In bracket if you get positive you will get favorable. So seven thousand favorable MPV material price variance. Material usage variance MUV standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity. Standard price is how much? Four rupees. Standard quantity seventy five thousand minus seventy thousand. तो सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड पॉजिटिव तो फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू फोर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वेन इट इज पॉजिटिव फेवरेबल नाउ वी विल वेरीफाई वेदर वी हैव डन करेक्टली और नॉट लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू एम सी वी इज इक्वल टू एम पी वी प्लस एम यू वी वेन यू एड अप प्राइस वेरियंस एंड यूसेज वेरियंस यू मस्ट गेट कॉस्ट वेरियंस तो एम सी वी इज इक्वल टू एम पी वी प्लस एम यू वी How much is MPV here? Seven thousand favorable. How much is MUV? Twenty thousand favorable. So seven thousand favorable plus twenty thousand favorable, you will get twenty-seven thousand favorable. What is this twenty-seven thousand favorable? MCV. Now check we got the same thing or not? MCV is equal to twenty-seven thousand favorable. That means our calculations are perfectly correct. Over. This is the first problem. Now I am coming to the second problem. The standard material cost for hundred kilogram of chemical X is made up of chemical A, B, C. So we are making a chemical X in order to make the finished product of chemical X. We are using three different chemicals A, B, and C. Combining this A, B, C, we are making the finished product chemical X. So for making hundred kilogram of output, how much is the standard quantity? Chemical A thirty kilogram at four rupees per kg. Chemical B the forty kilogram at five rupees per kg. Chemical C eighty kilogram at six rupees per kg. This is the standard for making hundred kilogram of output. In a batch of five hundred kilogram of chemical X were produced from a mix of. So actual output was five hundred kilogram of X. For making five hundred kilogram of X, chemical A one forty kilogram was used. At a cost of five eighty eight, total cost for one forty kilogram, the total cost is five eighty eight. Similarly, chemical B two twenty kilogram at a cost of one zero five six, chemical C four forty kilogram at a cost of two thousand eight sixty. Calculate material cost variance, material price variance, and material usage variance. Just like the previous problem, three variances we have to calculate: MPV, MUV, M, uh, MUV, and MPV. MCV, MPV, and MUV. Now, first of all, we are having three chemicals, so we make the table like this. First column, chemical A, B, C. The second broad column, standard. The last broad column, actual. In standard, we make three sub columns: SQ, SP, 
PSC. SQ standard quantity, SP standard price, SC standard cost. Similar three columns we make in actual. So actual quantity, actual price, actual cost. Now we calculate all the values and put it in the table. It will be easier for calculating the variances. First of all, we'll put the actual. Actual quantity used are 140 kilogram. 140, 220, 440. So I have taken 140, 220 and 440 given in the problem. The total is 800. Whereas the actual cost is 588. The total cost, actual cost, 588 I have taken, then 1056 2860. This is what given in the problem. Now divide the actual cost divided by quantity, 588 divided by 140, you will get actual price, that is 4.2. That is not given in the problem. Divide the cost by quantity, you will get the price. So 588 divided by 140, 4.2. 1056 divided by 220, You'll get 4.8 2860 divided by 440 6.5 so we got the complete values of actual now standard the standard is given 30 kilogram 40 kilogram 80 kilogram but this 30 40 80 is for making 100 kilogram of chemical x 100 kilogram this is the quantity given but our actual output is not 100 the actual output is 500 kilogram so whatever data you have taken here is for 500 kilogram. But for standard, it is not given 500, it is given for 100 kilogram. So we convert for 500 how much here? Standard quantity for actual output. So chemical A. For 100 kilogram of output, chemical A required is 30 kilogram. It is given. For making 100 kilogram of output, 30 kilogram is the standard quantity of A. Our actual output is 500, not 100. For 500 kilogram of output, how much is the standard quantity? So 500 by 100 into 30, you will get 150 kilogram. The so standard quantity for making 500 kilogram of output is 150. So here I am taking 150. Similarly for B, it is given in the problem 40 kilogram. B is given 40 kilogram. So 500 divided by 100 into 40. This is B. 500 by 100 into 40, 200 kilogram we require. So here I have taken 20. Now C, 500 by 100 into 80, that is 400 kilogram. The total comes to 750 kilogram. Now you multiply. Standard price is given. The standard price are 4, 5, 6. So here I have taken 4, 5, 6. Now multiply. 150 into 4, 600, 200 into 5, 1,400 into 6, 2,400. Take the total 4,000. That's it. We have completed the whole table. Now we will calculate one by one. MCV. Material cost variance. MCV is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. How much is the standard cost here? Yeah, here, standard cost 4,000. Actual cost is 4,504. So 4,000 minus 4,504 you are getting minus 504, minus 504, minus negative means adverse. So MCV is equal to 504 adverse. One variance we have completed. Second variance MPV, material price variance. The formula is actual quantity into standard price minus actual price. But we have to calculate separately for ABC. Because for every case, actual quantity is different. Standard price is different. So ABC. First, actual quantity. The actual quantities are 140, 220, 440. So here I have taken 140, 220, 440. Bracket, standard price minus actual price. The standard price is 4. 4, 5, 6. So here I have taken 4, 5, 6. Actual price, 4.2, 4.8, 6.5. 4.2, 4.8, 6.5. All the values I have substituted. Now in bracket, 4 minus 4.2 into 140, you are getting negative 28, minus 28. If in bracket you are getting minus, so definitely the variance will be adverse. If in the bracket you are getting positive, the variance will be favorable. So here, 4 minus 4.2, you are getting minus 0 0.2. 
तो माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू इंटू वन फोर्टी ट्वेंटी एट एडवर्स फॉर केमिकल ए केमिकल बी फाइव माइनस फोर पॉइंट एट पॉजिटिव वैल्यू पॉजिटिव वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग पॉइंट टू तो पॉइंट टू इंटू टू ट्वेंटी इज फोर्टी फोर तो फोर्टी फोर फेवर बिकॉज इन ब्रैकेट यू आर गेटिंग पॉजिटिव सो फेवर Here six minus six point five is minus point five. Six minus six point five, you will get minus zero point five. So minus zero point five into four forty, two twenty adverse. Now we are having twenty eight adverse, forty four favorable, two twenty adverse. So on your calculator, adverse means minus. So minus twenty eight plus forty four minus two twenty, you will get two not four minus. Negative two not four, so two not four adverse. This is material price variance. Now material usage variance. The formula is standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity. Again we calculate separately. A B C standard prices are four five six. So here I have taken four five six. In bracket standard quantity standard quantity one fifty two hundred four hundred one fifty two hundred four hundred. Actual quantity one forty two twenty four forty one forty two twenty four forty. That's all. We have taken all the values. Now calculations calculations one fifty minus one forty. You are getting positive plus ten. Ten into four forty favorable. Here forty favorable. Two hundred minus two twenty. You are getting negative minus twenty. So minus twenty into five is hundred adverse. Similarly. 400 minus 440, again negative minus 40. So minus 40 into 6, 240 adverse. So again you are having first one favorable. Favorable means plus. So we are having plus 40 minus 100 minus 240. You are getting minus 300. Minus 300 means 300 adverse. So 300 adverse M U B. we have completed the calculations now we want to verify whether we have done correctly or not so verification mcv is equal to mpv plus muv mpv how much we got 204 adverse so i have taken 204 adverse muv 300 adverse 300 adverse so 204 plus 300 is 504 adverse so check whether do we have 504 adverse or not yes mcv is equal to 504 adverse that means verified calculations are correct that's so in this video two problems are explained 17th and 18th completely it depends on the formula so be perfect on the formula inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video